Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to your Minecraft 1.14.4 server. So I'm assuming you've already set up a Forge server at this point. You do need a Forge server in order to add mods to your server and you can see exactly how to set up a Forge server at the eye at the top of your screen. Go up there, there's a link, it's just popped in. It's also a link in the description down below on how to start a Forge server. It's going to show you every single step and then once you've done that, you can come to this video and I'll show you how to install mods on it. First and foremost though, if you want a quick and easy way to start a Forge server, Apex Minecraft hosting is the perfect place to do it. Go the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends to play on running Forge for Minecraft 1.14.4 and very easy to install mods on that server so you and your friends can enjoy any of the mods you want in an environment where you don't have to worry about your own computer's hardware, you don't have to worry about who joins the server, you can give the IP out to everybody and anybody and it's very very simple and easy to set up on Apex Minecraft hosting. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends, check out Apex the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing you need to do is again, make sure you've got Forge installed, Forge set up, all of that stuff, and a Forge server set up. Once you've got that set up, we can download some mods. Now in the description down below, there is a link to the top five best mods for Minecraft 1.14.4, and all of these that we're actually featuring here, minus one, these first two, and then Quick Leaf Decay isn't on that list, but we're gonna, are all on the list of the top five mods. However, once you're on the download page for the mod, just make sure you're downloading the 114.4 version or 114 version, and that's what we're doing here. So we're gonna click on that, and the download will begin, and then we're also gonna go download Biomes of Plenty over here, the 114.4 version, as you can see. Click on that, and it will begin, and then last but not least, the Quick Leaf Decay mod. We wanna download the Minecraft 114 version, and it will go ahead and download. Now, we will need to keep all these files in the bottom left. I know they're all safe, but as long as it starts with the name of your mod, in this case, Biomes of Plenty, or Quick Leaf Decay, or Iron Chest, and ends in a .jar file, there's safe to keep. So we're going to go ahead and keep all three of those, let them finish downloading, and now if we minimize our browser here on our desktop, we do have these three mods. We have Iron Chest, we have Biomes of Plenty, and we have Quick Leaf Decay. Now at this point, we can go ahead and get them installed on our server. Now again, I'm assuming you've gotten a Forge server set up, and if you do, you just go ahead and open up your Forge server folder, and in here you'll have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you don't have a Forge server, so you need to go start a Forge server. Link in the description down below, the eye at the top of your screen, all of that stuff. Now just go ahead and take all of these mods here, highlight them, right click, copy them, and then go ahead and paste them over here into your mods folder. So right click and click paste, and they'll all appear here. Once they're all here, we're not done yet, but we can go ahead and start the server by double clicking our run.bat file. Now it's gonna start the server up with the mods installed, but we need to install these locally as well. Any mods that you install on your server, you need to install on your computer in Forge as well. This goes for your friends too. So if your friends haven't installed the mods you've installed on your server on their computer, they can't join this server. So it's very, very important that you take these mods and uh, you know give them to your friends or show your friends where to download them and have them install them as well. You can check out the eye at the top of your screen for our video on installing these mods without like the whole server part, just the, you know, how to do it for yourself so they can join your server. Now let's go ahead and install these in Minecraft. To do that, click the little windows icons in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little windows icon on the bottom left, and then type in run, R-U-N. You'll then have this run application here. And when you click on it, it's gonna open up right like so. And in here you wanna type percent, app data, percent. So percent sign, app data, percent sign, right like so, and then hit enter. This will then go ahead and open up your roaming folder. And here you'll have a .minecraft folder, and then you should have a mods folder. But if you don't have a mods folder here, it's okay to create one. So go ahead and right click, create a new folder, title this folder mods, exactly like that, all lowercase, and then go ahead and double click on this mods folder. It'll open it on up, drag and drop all the mods from your desktop into your mods folder here, and then they should all appear in that mods folder. Now we just need to go ahead and open up Minecraft. If this not started your server at this point, go ahead and start your server. Ours is already started up. We wanna make sure that we are playing on the Forge profile, which we are, then go ahead and click play. And then go ahead and open up Minecraft 114.4 with uh, only Forge installed, but our mods installed too. So the first thing you wanna do is check that these mods have in fact been installed on your computer. And to do that, just click on the mods tab. However, I, uh, it's taken a second to start up just like Forge always does. As you can see, it's starting up. It took a second. While it's starting up, I want to remind you about play.breakdowncraft.com. That is our grief protected survival server. We've got a slash shop based economy. We've got a player based economy and we've got custom skyblock for you and your friends to enjoy 
all of that set up on play.breakdowncraft.com. But now that we're on the Forge main menu, we can click on the Mods tab here. We should have three mods. We do Biomes of Plenty, Iron Chest, and Quick Leaf Decay. We can also go ahead and click on Multiplayer and Direct Connect right on into our server. I'm just using my local IP address, though we don't have to blur it or black it out or anything. We can join right on in. And then once we're in here, we'll be able to see that the mods are installed. It's kind of perfect for Quick Leaf Decay. I'm going to up myself just to make this quicker. So up nix games right like so and then we can go ahead and just take care of this by going into game mode creative oh creative and then remove all of this and we'll be able to see yeah that is quick leaf decay working it's magic we're gonna remove that one and but that is 100 working iron chest easiest to test with just uh grabbing an iron chest here and plopping it down on the ground boom there we go iron chest is installed always like to do the crystal chest as well just because i like how it looks it's really cool you can see through it you can put items in here and it'll actually show the items in the chest how cool is that and then biomes of plenty now we could fly around and try to find a biomes of plenty biome but i generated this world and didn't set it up to use biomes of plenty so the only way we're going to be able to test it is uh well this biomes of plenty here and then we can see like all the cool stuff like their their saplings and everything like that but that is all the biomes of plenty you know things that are added in here even like these you know pink trees and purple trees and all that stuff is added in so there you go now all of these mods are installed on your server it is that simple it is very very easy to do and uh, very very easy to set up so you and your friends can play some awesome mods if you do have any questions about any of these mods about installing mods on your server please ask them in the comment section down below. I will say make sure your ser mods are server compatible. All these I've used here obviously are server compatible. Mo these days most mods are, but there are still some mods out there that don't work on servers properly. Optifine, for example, better FPS. Those aren't server mods and they don't work on servers. So you need to make sure that uh, the mod you do have does work on a server before installing it. And uh, also when installing mods on your server, I would recommend just installing them one at a time because uh, if you don't, it can get a bit overwhelming very, very quickly. But nevertheless, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have, again, great protected survival, incredible custom skyblock. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. We restart every day at 10 o'clock. It's one hour after our restart. We have 181 players online. We pick it over 350 players every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy your mods, and I'm out. Peace.